the bat. And he hits it right back to the mound, and Darno is hung up. And Darno is tagged out by Galvis. He almost got the hand back as Eikhoff waited a little too long to make that throw. But Darno is retired on the fielder's choice. No. And that's the first out of the inning, and Darno not going anywhere, thinking the Mets might challenge. He does everything. It does everything right right here. Run at the runner. Now throw it. Get rid of it quicker than that. You had him strung out there. He and waited a little bit too long on a high throw. Did he get back? Mets are going to challenge the call. And it looked safe. like he did get his hand back in, and that's huge if this gets overturned. Instead of one out and a runner at first, the Mets would have first and second and nobody out. I agree with you, Keith. He handled the beginning of the play well, but then he just held on to the ball too long. As Darno, it looks like, was able to get the hand back in. If he makes the proper throw, he's got him, but he made a bad throw. He, you know, you just, it's up to the pitcher to get him strung out, and then it's up to the middle infielders, which will be if it gets into a rundown, then it's up to the shortstop and the third baseman. And he's safe. No question. Play under review brought to you by Mazda Driving Matters. You see the hand on the bag and the tag not yet applied by Galvis. So this should be pretty routine. Tom Hallian and Bill Miller are the crew chiefs in the bunker in Chelsea handling the reviews. So a youthful error right there. It's going to put Eikhoff in serious jeopardy and does Terry bunt now and I think he bunts with McGarris and safe is the call. So the call is overturned it'll be a fielder's choice all the way. 